The newly launched Alliance for Longevity Initiatives, an organization founded to advance policies and legislation aimed at increasing healthy human lifespan, recently held their first public event. It featured some well-known names in longevity, as well as some you might not expect such as former Republican Speaker of the House Newt Gingrich and former Democratic Congressman Steve Israel. We'll tell you what was discussed and the organization's plans for the future in this episode of Lifespan News. According to their website, the Alliance for Longevity Initiatives, or A4LI, is an independent 501c4 nonprofit founded with the goal of creating social and political action specifically around the issues of combating age-related chronic conditions and increasing our number of healthy, disease-free years. The organization was created by Dylan Livingston, who currently serves as its president and CEO. Dylan describes himself as a politico and previously worked as a Biden campaign staffer. In 2021, Dylan participated in a Foresight Institute event in which he outlined some of the possible initiatives and strategies of the A4LI which include establishing a longevity caucus in Congress, increasing funding for the National Institute on Aging Division of Aging Biology, and helping the FDA to understand and support geroscience. During the A4LI's first event in December, former Speaker of the House Newt Gingrich said the following. I actually think what we need is two things. We need a easy to understand explanation of the possibility backed up by scientists and, and the papers and everything else, but so that people realize it's not just, you know, an interesting publicity stunt, but in fact, a report on the scale of opportunity that science is now putting at our doorstep. This, the second thing I think is that we need to look at the totality of government. You need a totally different Food and Drug Administration approach. You can't say we're going to have this great trial and in 27 years uh, we'll know something. You have to literally from the ground up say to yourself, if this is the zone we're in, maybe we need a either a division of the FDA or a parallel to the FDA that has a, a totally different set of capabilities. The other part of it is to liberate a fair amount of money uh, simply by getting CBO of the Congressional Budget Office and others to model if you did in fact get these breakthroughs, what is their economic return and therefore what's a rational investment strategy. Uh, and I think you, the numbers will be shocking uh, that the potential return is so enormous. And then finally, you need a publicity campaign that basically says, would you like to live healthier, longer, with greater opportunities? at lower cost, uh, and if the answer is yes, here's the information that shows you how close we are to being able to deliver that. Former Democratic Congressman Steve Israel responded with this. I agree with uh, Speaker Gingrich, words I never thought uh, I would say, uh, and words that you wouldn't expect the former chairman of the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee to, to utter. Uh, but on this, we are in, in full agreement. First, Dylan, thank you so much for your leadership in this space. And thank you, Mr. Speaker, for reaching out and for educating me about this issue. I think you would agree, Mr. Speaker, that for most of our former colleagues, when they hear the word longevity, they're just thinking about how many more terms does that mean <laughs> in the House? And they're thinking we may not expand much beyond that. And that is why he's exactly right, that, that we really need to focus on educating members of Congress and other policymakers in the White House, out of the White House, uh, on not just the moral benefits of this, but the economic, the very positive economic impacts of this has. I learned that Democrats and Republicans hardly agree on anything, which means they have an obligation to agree on something. And so I reached across the aisle, and I think this is a really good template for a conversation during the next hour or so. And so what's the political agenda? What's the strategy to interact with policymakers? And I found that everybody in Congress wants to do something about Alzheimer's because every member of Congress was hearing the same thing in their districts. It, it wasn't just a Republican issue or Democratic issue or a Rust Belt issue or a suburban issue or a blue state issue or a red state issue. And Mr. Speaker, I found such a wonderful ally in Congressman Tom Cole, conservative member of the House Appropriations Committee from Oklahoma, former direct head of the Republican National Committee. And I was, the, again, the chairman of the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee, both of us on the Appropriations Committee. And working with Tom Cole and Rosa DeLauro, you could not find more polar opposites in Congress than Rosa DeLauro and Tom Cole. 
but they formed a, uh, a cohesive effort in the Appropriations Committee to provide record-breaking increases in funding for NIH and other entities of government, specifically for Alzheimer's research. This panel, which was moderated by Dylan Livingston, also featured Dr. Nir Barzilai, Dr. Dina Radenkovic, and A4LI Chair of the Board, Sonia Arison. It is great to hear that politicians, academics, and business leaders are all taking this problem seriously, and even coming up with their own ideas for what we can do to advance health span extension science. It's also great to see that many of the ideas put forward in this conversation are ones that I have personally had or have heard other people share. So it sounds like there is a real possibility of broad agreement, regardless of party or ideology, that can lead to a unified approach to these problems that we're all facing. We've included links to this panel with Newt Gingrich and Steve Israel, as well as a link to Dylan's Foresight Institute presentation in the video description. You can learn more about the Alliance for Longevity Initiatives and support their work at a4li.org. I am very excited about the existence of the A4LI and am eager to follow their progress. There will be more to share soon, and when there is, we'll bring it to you here. So please subscribe so you don't miss out. I'm Ryan O'Shea, and we'll see you next time on Lifespan News.